So hello explorers, so this time Mark, Duncan Carp and I, I will put their links in the description, traveled all the way to Belgium to this incredible abandoned resting house. In this resting house there was a lot of decay and it was really dangerous to walk the floors. But other than that it was really cool because there were many things left behind from the past, including old suitcases and the beds of all the patients. And this place even had its own church. Huh? I really cannot wait to show you guys this video, so let's go. So everybody, I just arrived in the church and this was not a normal church. This was the church for the mentally challenged people uh, and the people that were resting here before they died. So it's a really impressive location. This is one of the most decayed churches that I know that still has all of the stained glass windows so it is absolutely insane I cannot wait to show you guys this church of this asylum So everybody, the stained glass is all there, it's really, the sun is over there, so it is a little bit hard to see. But this place is incredible, I've been here uh, one and a half years ago, it still is incredible. This church actually got uh, burned down, and that's when the whole asylum got abandoned. The altar is still here, and over there there was a little... Uh, altar, they stole it. That's a shame. It's absolutely a shame that some people can steal from churches is a big shame. Wow, and look at all the paint. It's absolutely marvelous. It's insane. Let's go up there so you guys can get a better look on the whole church. So guys, right now I'm standing on top of the asylum church. It's insanely beautiful to be standing here. Um, all of those stained glass windows. It is just absolutely marvelous. It is insane. I love this. I'm a big fan of churches. Wow. That's insane. So everybody, this church was insane. But right now we're going to go in the exact asylum and there is so many stories on the internet of this asylum being haunted, so I'm really excited to take a look in there. It's going to be so creepy, but it's going to be amazing. They say there's still beds there from the patients and everything. It's in really bad shape. The roof collapsed, so it's going to be excited. Let's take a look. So all of those hallways, all of those rooms, the all patient rooms, they all have the beds still in them. This one is a really small bed, uh, bedroom. I'm not sure why this patient room is much smaller than the other ones. I am actually not sure, but it's just a really weird look to be here in this time of year and see what conditions those people lived back in the days. 
it's just I cannot tell you guys how amazing but how scary it is at the same time this is one of the most scary floors I have ever walked on it's soapy uh, many parts are already collapsed there's some more patients rooms here with beds but let's just continue because I don't want to stand still here it's really dangerous I think this used to be the bathroom oh this is so scary there's still a mattress no way I cannot lie this is giving me a little bit of chills seeing this uh, bed still exactly how it was that is really scaring me a bit and you can see the old curtains behind that wow and this is abandoned for years look at it it's on point of collapsing so this room in particular i really like because there's still one of those really old suitcases from one of the patients and i have seen those before in asylums um Dambik asylum where i went in england i found one of those exactly same suitcases i think those really were used back in the day it's insane imagine finding pictures the patients here that would be so creepy if we found pictures wow it's just so many patient rooms look at this look at this behind me that is insane and all of those rooms they had their own numbers and I guess the patients had their own numbers too like this room in particular was called C109 and I don't know there's something creepy about that as well So right now I'm standing on the attic of the asylum. What is weird? There is this little secret room and it has a patient room on there. A patient number like the other rooms had. I'm really confused why there's such a little room hidden here. If anybody knows why they had those in asylums, please let me know. I'm really interested to know what you guys know about those history. But other than that, there's a lot of mattresses on this attic, but nothing really special compared to the other things so everybody right now I am standing in the garden where the patients were walking of course they were not allowed to go even further than those classes so it's kind of scary to stand here um, I'm standing here with Mark go check out his channel in the description and you can check out Luke the cameraman's pictures in the description as well and it was just an incredible place the asylum the beds the history, you can still feel the history in this place, really negative history, you can really tell. And the church, of course, the church was more positive. I really liked the church, I took some really beautiful shots there. And this is all made possible by my, by my Patreon supporters, so thank you, thank you so much. I'm really, really grateful for you guys. And yeah, with that being said, please press the bell notification button and hope to see you guys next week Sunday for a brand new abandoned place somewhere in the world. So yeah, bye bye. Strange things happen Are you going down the twist? Or have you heard?